Captain, I'm getting some strange readings on this sector. The atmospheric voltage and current ranges are all over the place. Right, Tenant. Bring up measurements on screen. Aye, aye, Captain. As you can see, the voltage keeps shifting from 375 to 1000. And the current is all over the place. When the voltage is low, the current is 80. And when the voltage is high, the current is 30. I've never seen anything with such a wide operating range, but considering the format of these episodes, I'm guessing you know what this is, Captain? It's a big universe out there, Lieutenant. I couldn't possibly know everything out in the vast void of electrical space. But yeah, we're looking at a DC-DC converter. So what are we gonna do? With the current and the voltage continuing to shift, it will be impossible to know if we have the capacity to perform the test. It would take a fleet of power supplies to handle the ranges this thing is putting out. Normally, you'd be right, Lieutenant. Uh, but our true auto ranging capabilities make us ideally suited for this test. We can adjust current automatically at higher and lower voltages while maintaining full power across a wide range of testing requirements. Um. Basically, we can perform more tests with one device. Let's move in. Starting test now. All current and voltage ranges are within our limits. So this is auto ranging. What did I tell you? <laughs> I love this job. When did you get the coffee? Uh, the continuity of this scene is not important, Lieutenant. What's important is that we handled yet another one of the universe's most extraordinary power applications. Now, onward into the test and measurement unknown. Aye, aye, Captain. Can we stop for coffee, though? I really want one now. <laughs> <laughs>